take a question for Rick, and then we'll move on to the broader panel, and then hear from the President. Next button. I guess uh, one point and then a response to the tenure uh, point at the end. Um, Milton Friedman argued that the business has only one uh, fiduciary responsibility, and that's to maximize profits. Anything else is um, something that's simply unacceptable. It's their, their maximizing shareholder value is what they're supposed to do. And I would argue that Marx would agree with that. It's interesting the two of them would agree. And so profitability is critical to them. Now, Radica would argue that Keynes and Marx would argue there are paradoxes of that for the system. The system can sometimes will have crisis, whether it's because of ineffective demand or falling rate of profit. Those are uh, nuanced uh, debates for another point. But business is doing what it's doing. And so the world has been driven to huge inequality. It's been driven to crisis. It's been done because of central bank activity, fiscal policy on the part of the state, deregulation. And I don't hear much from the business community out there talking about raising their taxes or re-regulating the, uh, you know, Gold, the president of Goldman Sachs said he's doing God's work. And so the question then becomes, do we really, can we really rely on the business community? I actually teach Wilkinson. And one of the criticisms of Wilkinson is there's no agency in Wilkinson. Here are the events of inequality. But how do we deal with inequality? And the answer is, if you look at Wilkinson's top you know, economies where equality actually works better, every one of them is not because of the goodwill of the business community. It's because these states are contested by, business, by labor and labor parties. It's Sweden and Finland and Norway that are the countries that do best at Wilkinson's ratings. And in those cases, in every one of those cases, the state is contested by a strong working class and strong labor parties and environmentalists. Anywhere where there isn't that strength, the business community has not created that kind of equality. And these are not places where there's a charity model, where we rely on the business community to provide some funds to fill in the gaps created by the marketplace. Systematic state funding, as Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, taxes are the uh, price of civilization. But and as for ten the here's the oh, uh, last state, last comment. Tenure is the University of Manitoba and every other place to protect us from business people who might not like the fact that we're critical of IBM and other corporations. And without tenure, well, there's a long historical record, which I won't go on, that suggests exactly why tenure is needed. You may say there's incompetent profs, but we argue there's a really dangerous business community out there that will threaten our academic freedom. Rick, you want to respond to that before we open it up wide? Yeah, it's a, um, I've, I've never experienced that, to be honest, in, in all the people I've worked with. But you made me think of one thing I didn't uh, make in my remarks. What is the responsibility of business with, with the uh, Occupy movement? Business cannot give me uh, a guarantee of a job forever, but business can make sure that they're giving me the opportunity to always have the right skills and to ensure I know where things are going so I don't get surprised. So if they're investing in me, and I would say what's happened with the short-term profit fix and this whole globalization, business is not investing in people the way they used to. And it's more up to me to do it, which is fine to a point, but I see uh, a huge shortfall. And so what business and, and the university has to work together to invest in people, come up with the right educational programs and the skills, and to make it work. I think there is an appetite to do that, and I'm hoping that the, this Occupy movement does that. I, quite honestly, I, I don't, uh, I've never heard a serious conversation about anybody in business uh, attacking the, the university. I've, if anything, I've always heard positive comments, in my experience. Yeah, it, it, you, please do, because I'm not, not saying it's not there, I've just not experienced it. 